You've got to tune to the Midday Show on Listener Power 90.3 FM KEXP and streaming online all over the world at KEXP.org. My name is Morgan. Thanks much for joining me this afternoon. I am down in the live room. Very, very happy to be joined by L.A. band Froth. Take it away.
Froth live on KEXP, the opening track to their excellent new album, Outside Briefly, that was called Contact. They are playing tonight at Barboza, heading down to Portland tomorrow, playing Mississippi Studios. And uh, we're going to hear another track from them in just a minute. live on KEXP last year back in 2015 on their second album Bleak now have a new album out called Outside Briefly that just came out this February we're very very glad to have you back the new album sounds great thank you so much yeah it's awesome and uh can you talk about this new album how the recording process happened how the writing process happened yeah well basically um it was like just pretty much different approach from all the other ones just we kind of didn't have an album and actually no that's that's been all of our albums. we didn't have an album and we needed one so we scrambled <laughs> some songs together mm -hmm. but uh i feel like today or not today this time we were like more informed in the studio maybe so we had a little bit of a more pleasant time doing the thing but it was a it was like a good month of making it happen 
Mm -hmm. How did you record your past albums? Was it uh, bedroom recordings? Did you have producers before? Is this your first time working with a producer? This is our first time working with a producer. Our friend Thomas Dolis, but he's been he's been working with us forever. Like he played drums in our band a while ago, and mm -hmm. he worked for a label that put out our first record. And so it was really it was really nice to have somebody that you could really trust on board. And yeah, it was. That was that was maybe the biggest difference actually between the other ones and this one. Mm -hmm. Are there any particular influences on this on this new record? Um, yeah, there's a the the name of the album is actually a Richard Brodigan chapter from one of his books, and uh, I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to pinpoint who was the inspiration behind behind the album then because now it's kind of moved on to something else, and I I don't really remember what we were all listening to. I probably like. Elliot Smith and Duster and the Beatles. We always listen to the Beatles. Yeah. Softer, softer music than in the past. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I, uh, I read that you were writing these songs while you were on your last tour for your last album. Is that right? We were writing these songs. No, that's not. <laughs> no. Oh, you wrote them later? Okay. Maybe. Maybe we did. I don't know. We were playing Contact. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's oh, yeah. yeah. We were playing, um, we were playing Contact. Since 2015, yeah, mm -hmm. we were we were actually deciding whether or not we should have done it last time. I think, and yeah. they were like, "Oh, we can't do that." <clears throat> and those the last two songs that you played, "Shut the Windows" and "Contact," you both have uh, music videos for those. Yeah, um, "Shut the Windows." I think you just posted a couple of days ago. Can you talk about the making of those music videos and what they're about? Yeah. Um, well, for the "Contact" one, we worked with uh, Riley Blakeway, who's a good friend of ours. He's a director and. We've done three videos with him now, and he does all 60 millimeter, and just another kind of person that we see really eye to eye with, and it's really fun to collaborate with. Mm -hmm. And then this most recent one, uh, Sean Solomon from Moaning, which is actually a band that we're on tour with right now, he just made like a full like art video for Shut the Windows, which I really like, which is something like that we've never done before, but it was fully his creation, and that was yeah, it was. That was the first time somebody's just like, here's your video, and it was like, whoa. Nice. I wish Actually, somebody wait, would just no, make me a video. <laughs> 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 well, they, they look awesome. Highly recommend watching those videos and checking out the album as well. Playing tonight at Barboza, and you'll be coming back for the Bumbershoot Music Festival in September. And uh, now that Nico's in the band, you got a little bit of roots here in Seattle. Uh, you were mentioning you have a place to stay now. Um, can you talk about that? You, got an, you have an uncle? Oh, uh, yeah, I have an uncle who lives here, and... Um, I was talking up the chickens that live at his house, but when we when we arrived, we heard the sad news that they've either passed away or been eaten by raccoons. Damn raccoons! So, <laughs> chickens this time. My sister had uh, chickens too, and there were always a couple of raccoon fatalities every couple years. Yeah, it's a it's a problem around They're here very in Seattle. Susceptible. Yeah, <laughs> they are. <laughs> well, Froth, thank you so much for being here. We'd love to hear a couple more songs from you.
Froth live on KEXP. That was Passing Thing from the new album Outside Briefly, playing tonight at Barboza. They have one more song for us here on KEXP.
Froth live on KEXP. The new album, Outside Briefly, that was absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for playing for us today. It was so nice to see you back here. And uh, go catch them tonight at Barboza. They are heading down to Portland tomorrow playing Mississippi Studios and then midweek up to Vancouver in Canada playing the Cobalt. Have a great rest of your tour and hopefully we'll see you when you're back here in September for Bummer Shoot. Yeah, Thank thanks you. so much for having us. Of course. And keep it tuned right here to the station where the music matters. 90.3 FM, KEXP, Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.